Now I'd like to uh, recognize the gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Banks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you, Mr. Lightfoot, for being here. You have been an adequate acting administrator. You've done a, a great job. We appreciate your leadership, so no offense to you, but I hope next time we're sitting here that Administrator Bridenstine will be in the chair. It's an embarrassment to the process that that, 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 that hasn't happened yet, but we appreciate the leadership that you provided in the meantime. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit about the W First mission. Um, this project was a top priority for astronomers in the, the last decadal survey. What would be the consequence of canceling the mission, in your opinion? Yeah, I think the, the big consequence is the gap in astrophysics data that we would get from the W first. I mean, that's a, to the astrophysics community, that's a challenge um, from a scientific perspective. The other, the, the, the positive side of that, though, is that we can, that those funds can perhaps get the data in a different way, and I think that's what our science mission director is going to look at. So you, you, would, you would agree that it would undermine the decadal survey? I, it is definitely what the decadal survey has asked for, but we think there's other ways to get that same data. You do. Okay. Well, many of the important parts of the spacecraft for the W first mission have already been completed. Would, would you agree? Um, I'm not sure I would uh, For agree. example, Harris Corporation, which is a major employer in my district, um, several hundred uh, constituents of mine um, have completed construction of the optical assembly. So how much of this spacecraft for the mission has already been completed? Now, can I get you those numbers? Can I just provide them for the record? Because, I don't, again, I don't want to do it off the top of my head, but there's, yeah. there's quite a bit more to go. Okay. Uh, please do. Thank you very much. Launch. Can we really expect, though, substantial savings given the amount of work, do you believe, that has already gone into the W First mission? I, I think when you see the numbers, it, when you're looking at a – 3.2 to 3.9 billion dollar mission. Um, we have not spent nearly that much at this point. Okay, thank you. I look forward to seeing those figures. I know the the Webb uh, Space Telescope has already been mentioned. It it continues to experience several complications on the path to being ready to fly. Uh, given the intricacy of the design, with no room for error in the deployment, how would NASA's ability to conduct deep space uh, deep science if W first was canceled and if there were further problems with the Webb telescope after it was launched. Yeah, I think that's the that's the balance and the challenge that we're counting on. We're counting on Tess and James Webb to to fill the astrophysics needs for quite a bit of time. So clearly if we had a challenge with James Webb, that would that would be something we'd have to look at. Okay. And, and finally, in this in this day of ever changing innovation and technological advancements, could you explain the reasoning for merging the Space Technology Mission Directorate with an operations organization? Yeah, I think when you look at the way the way we're, we're, there's really three lines of business in here. There's the, the low Earth orbit activities where International Space Station is. There's the lunar vicinity area, what we're going to do at the surface of the moon and, and around the moon. And then there's deeper space exploration, which includes Mars. If you're going to have a stepping stone approach, those three stepping stones need to kind of be aligned together. And so that's what we're trying to do. And if you look at the total budget, it's, a, it's actually a better budget for technology than we had as a standalone uh, mission director. And it'll be more aligned and more focused, we believe, with what we're trying to do. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all I got. I yield back. Yes, sir.